Welcome back, everybody, and this is another mod tutorial, of course, obviously tied to Applied Energistics. As you can tell, I really like this mod. Now, where we left off, I explained all the networking as far as auto crafting and P2P tunnels. Well, this one's going to be even more in depth, and by in depth, I mean crazy. Of course, I'm not going to show any crafting recipes, I'm sorry, but as you can see, I added something a little over here. Okay, this is a quantum ring. At least these six, eight or yeah, eight blocks on the outside are. In the center, I have a quantum link chamber. When you combine it all together, they change shapes. No, they're not different blocks. These are the same blocks right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know why I usually belch on camera. I'm so sorry. Anyways, so you attach this to your network on through the quantum ring using dense cable. In my case, <clears throat> now that's not just all. You do need a quantum entangled singularity. I know it's a mouthful. The way you get a quantum entangled singularity is with this contraption called a matter condenser. And a, well, I think it says 16K is the minimal you need. I'm using a 64K. And you need 256,000 pieces of matter. In this case, I'm using cobblestone. It's going up fairly quickly because. I used uh, extra utilities to make a cobblestone farm or a cobble generator. You just use the transfer nodes items and by attaching one world interaction upgrade it starts mining cobble just like any other cobblestone generator would. But by adding all these extras it does it really fast and then it pumps it over here thereby filling it up really quickly giving me singularities. Now you do have to change the ME condenser output. You can do trash, matter, which is for some other tools and stuff. I've never used them. Don't really find much joy in it. If that's your thing, I'm sorry. Or in this case, singularity. Okay, you do only need one. I don't know why I have two in there. So now, once you have your singularity, you need something else called Ender Dust. Now, the way you get Ender Dust, in this case, you use an Ender Pearl and a Grindstone gives you Ender Dust. You only need one. So, you take your Singularity, throw it on the ground. Same for your Ender Dust. You throw them on the ground. And then place TNT beside it. I know you're probably thinking at this point, oh, it's an April Fool's Day prank. No, it is not. Check this out. Activate the TNT. Ready for it. There you go. It gives you two quantum entangled singularities. As you can see back here, I have another quantum ring. I'll get to that in a minute. And the quantum link chamber. And a separate network. It is not attached in any way to that network in there. I only have three items in here. Okay, Glass cable red, solid block from the TARDIS mod, and some wood. Now, once you have, you have to create two of these uh, quantum rings to get the benefits of it, and this is why you would like it. You take one singularity, throw it in the link chamber. Okay. And then you come in here to this other one. Now first let me show you. There is no wood, no clear block, no ME cable red. I do have some blue in there. So anyways, that's from uh, another network. Throw that one in there. It has to be the same two. See, they will not work. Even though all the numbers are the same, they are different. That, that's why they are made together. So anyways, I use the same two singularities. And now, there's my spruce wood, my solid block, and my red cable. And if I go in here, There's all my other stuff too. So that way, that way you can expand your network even further without having to have all the cables running everywhere. You just create just some singularities, some quantum rings, and bada bing bada boom, you have a super long network over a far, far distance. Now it gets better. I'm put this back in here because that is tied to a network in the nether. That's right, they work 
cross dimensional. Now, in order for this to work, you do need chunk loader. In this case, I'm using the uh, TARDIS mod. It's got a little chunk loader you can attach to the roundels. And so I've attached them in there. You see, cable interface, chunk loader. And so I put them in each chunk of this giant room. So it has my entire network and all the storage. So if I go to the nether, I can access this network from the nether. Now, I will show you all that in a minute. But before I leave this room, I want to show you this. This is awesome. Okay. A spatial storage cell. Now what this means is you can take a location or a set of blocks, a building or of some sort, and you can put it in a storage cell and move it somewhere else. In order to do this, you do need, I prefer dense cable, obviously. It has the most channels. You need lots and lots of spatial pylons. Lots and lots of energy. I'm using creative energy because I couldn't get enough energy otherwise. A spatial I.O. port. And see right now you see it requires 866 kilo. Amp energy. I don't know what the AE stands for. Applied energistics energy. Anyways. So 866,000. That's a lot. ME controller, if depending on the size of it, because it allows you to connect them from the back and the sides, and you know, giving you more channels. In this case, I was able to do it only one side. You do need top, bottom, side to side, everything surrounded, and see how they are one block apart or two blocks apart right here. Uh, you do want them pretty close spaced without being you know side by side because they do have to be in a rectangular formation for them to work. Otherwise. Let's break that. See, now it's red because they're not connected. And now it sees them as two separate. But attach that. Purple means good. Anyways, so where to go? There it is. This one can hold a 16 by 16 by 16 block location in a single, in a single cell. There are three different ones. One is a 2x2x2, two by two by two, and another one is a, uh, what's the other one, 128 by 128 by 128. How crazy is that? Um, of course, I, obviously, I didn't use the entire space because that is crazy, but let me show you this. Flick this lever, apply a redstone signal, and whatever is in the cell comes out. I just made this tower of dirt. You see I've also got lava in here and I've got water in here. And all that was in this single little cell. And so you got the dirt base bottom. Now we'll spit it back out over here. So I can then put it back over here in the beginning and reapply the redstone signal. And it's gone. It is back in the cell. Turn that off. Now Check. Now we shall go check out the other half of the network. Okay. Do to do to do. Let's fly out here. You see, I created a new room for each and every piece of this mod tutorial, so everything is in one single location. And there's my uh, other spatial storage. So you got the dense cable, spatial pylons, and I'm not a hundred percent sure, but just for good measure. They do have to be the same. What in the world? Cause, okay. You can go away. So, I put the spatial storage cell in here. Apply the redstone signal. And voila. There it is. Got my lava. Got my redstone and my dirt. And that way you can transport entire buildings. Cross dimensions. Cross location. Let's say you're making a town, how easy would it be to just move it just a little bit without having to destroy the whole building? That's awesome. And see, here's a separate network. I believe, yeah, this one's, yeah, this one's empty. But as you remember, I still have this singularity in here, so I can do that. And there's my wood, and a quantum entangled singularity is in there. Hmm. 
I wonder where that goes to. Is that... Yeah, that is my other half of my network. Check it out. Everything is in there. And I am outside of my TARDIS. Which, if you don't know anything about the TARDIS mod, it is a separate dimension. Time set day. There we go. I saw a Mothra over there and they blow things up. I don't like that. Anyways, that creates an entirely new dimension. So, that is completely separate. It's a lot just like going to the nether. Speaking of which, take that singularity out. I just so happen to have another portal. And inside this nether portal, I so happen to have a new network. All I've got in here is obsidian. Quantum entangled ring. Boom. Everything. Inside the nether, whole new dimension. Forget about it. So that way you can have a nether base, you could have a TARDIS base, you can have a base and in every single dimension, an end based base. An end base. Based in the end. My nether portals are glitched up to where it teleports me somewhere different. But yeah, so those are the two most advanced pieces of the Applied Energistics mod. You see my the little sky that is Minecraft YouTuber statue. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button or leave a comment down below saying you enjoyed it. Maybe have some questions that I can answer that I kind of touched on but didn't really go into too much, go into a lot of detail on. It, like I said, if you're looking for recipes, any I. Not enough items. It has every single recipe you need. Well, except for the singularity, but I just showed you that. TNT, Ender, uh, ender Dust, and you're set. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope uh, you learned a little bit about this mod. And I hope you guys uh, have fun with it just like I did. Well, I'll see y'all next time whenever I do another YouTube... Uh, whenever I do another mod tutorial, leave a comment down below also if you know what mod I should do a tutorial on next. If you do like my tutorials, or if maybe I don't go into enough detail. Maybe I do need more. Let me know. I'll try and fix it up for you. I'll try and do better. I want to please you. I want to make you happy. Please, let me make you happy. Anyways, this has been a three-part mod tutorial coming to an end.